isn't my neighbor, the Moocher. Could you possibly spare a small bite? I'm short on groceries this week. Well, sure, chump. Uh, uh, Woody. I'll sample the burger to make sure it's cooked. Bye, Yiminy. Ooh. How rude of me. Wally, buddy, how about that morsel of food? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> That'll fix you. Why don't you get a job and stop mooching off others? Hey, Wally, your barbecue smells kind of foul. <laughs> Hello? The IRS? I'm being audited? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, and if they see all my food, they think I'm rich for sure. I love a good game of hide-and-seek. Hello. Can I help? I'm from the Internal Food Revenue Service. Internal Food Revenue Service? Step aside, tax evader. According to official records, you have never, ever filed a food return. By George, it must be a yoke. Does this look like you filed taxes? Ooh, a heavy tax here. Yumpin' yiminy. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'll be the judge of that. This warrant entitles me to search your premises. Failure to comply could mean jail time. Got it, bub? <coughs> hmm. Very clever, Mr. Walrus. You've hidden the utensils, too. Quit holding out and produce the goods. I have nothing to hide. We'll see about that. Incriminating evidence. Looks like jail time to me. Uh, it belongs to, uh, the former owner of the house. The case against you is building, Mr. Walrus. Oh, uh, mm, that's my pet, uh, Little Orange. It's a half-eaten carrot, genius. That's it. <laughs> I knew it! Hard Sicilian salami. But I've never even been to Sicily. Tell it to the judge. This evidence must be treated with the utmost care. It has to be kept in this protective coating and dealt with properly. <laughs> Mr. Walrus, what are you keeping behind this door? Hmm? Try and explain this. That's not an eating ham. That's a plumbing ham. 95% for the government. Uh, no, please. I was saving that for my retirement. Explain this. Ah, oh, shucks, Mr. Walrus. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, this will cost you dearly. You're going down. Solitary confinement. Oh, no. And that will leave you with... Prison food. No! Anything but that. 
<laughs> I confess. I've got food hidden all over the house. Be merciful. That completes your audit, Mr. Walrus. <gasps> My food. Hmm? But IRS, Mr. Walrus, it has come to our attention that you are owing 37 years in back taxes. Huh? But I thought that... Uh, didn't I just... Wait! What are you doing? That leaves you with 1% of your body fat. Your account is fully paid up. Thank you for doing business with the IRS. Mmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Just a minute. Uh, hello, sport. Could you spare some food for a guy down on his luck? Sure, you're just in time. The delivery truck just came. Fresh logs with all the termites you can eat. Taste like chicken. Dig in. <laughs> Oh dear, meat, meat, everywhere meat and not a single vegetable to be found. I really must move to a more civilized climate. Oh, just so, old chap. What you need is a proper feast of veggies and tapioca pudding. <laughs> One ice rutabaga, some snowball Brussels sprouts, and some nice icicle carrots. Bravo! A positively brilliant meal. Satisfied now, old boy? Oh, no! We aren't hungry anymore, old boy. There can be no boiled ham if we are to be proper vegetarians. <laughs> Nor the hot dog. It, too, is a meat byproduct. I will have no more of your carnivorous charade shenanigans. Hmm. Perhaps a good snooze will get your mind back in order. Ah, <sighs> the nice warm smell of fire. <laughs> No, it can't be, but it is a succulent stuffed squab. <laughs> no? Oh dear, I really can't go back to my old ways. The life of a carnivore is so detestable. I will not touch the squab. All animal life is precious to me. However, one cannot completely deny one's weaknesses. I wouldn't... Hmm, not bad. Young, nice, playful yet delicate. Tastes of cinnamon, blueberries, and just a hint of... of... Ah, yes, smoked salmon, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
My finicky feasting must not be fouled by that frigid bowl. This is you. This is me. And being a civilized vegetarian, I nonetheless have all the natural urges of my forefathers. The most primal of all these urges is to consume meat products. And so, my dear Jeeves, you being just such a bully meat product yourself, should therefore vamoose. Understand? The dear boy undoubtedly took the hint. After all, you can't argue with logic. Sorry, lad, but I must take drastic measures. Where to, Mac? Oh, the lad would like to go to the North Pole to see Santa Claus. Okay, Mac, load him up. And now, back to my nap. Jolly bad luck. Now look here, Jeeves. You, you can't just bully well go around behaving with such willy-minded duckiness. <laughs> <laughs> This is the last straw. I am leaving now, and you will bully well stay here. Do you comprehend? <laughs> oh, what now, old boy? A tropical island? I say, we are due for a vacation, aren't we? And bananas are quite lovely this time of year. To the islands, then! Oh, don't tell me you've grown attached to the diminutive squab now, have you? <laughs> oh, I suppose we could take this little fellow along. You'd finally leave me alone if I took you someplace warm and cosy? <laughs> All right, then it's settled. We'll have a smashing good time. Oh, I'll make us all banana splits, banana pudding, ooh, banana pie, bananas flaming up. Do you long for the good life? A treehouse on Easy Street. You need to learn how to make your species proud with the Phony Robin's personal triumph plan. You'll learn that self-esteem is all about appearances and communication. Hmm. This is perfect. perfect. You'll be able to see how I made an absolute fortune. Hold on one crumb pick a minute there. Excuse me. You. Antenna head walking towards my kitchen. Hey! What's the big idea? <laughs> The big idea is you're out of milk. Welcome to the documentary channel. Hey! You can't just move into someone's place and freeload. Out! Oh. And stay out! <laughs> Newsflash! My house! My food! My chair! No! Please don't! I I I splatter easily. Get out! Oh please! I 
ain't got nowhere else to go. I can't make it in the outside world. You don't know what it's like being the runt of the family. <laughs> Everyone else succeeding, and you're failing. <laughs> Please, just give me a chance, will you? My whole life's been an uphill battle. <laughs> but you, look at you. You're living the life here. Well, I didn't always have a treehouse on Easy Street, you know. I had to work hard for the good life. Please let me stay. I could learn from you. All right. But if you're gonna stay, you gotta straighten up and fly right. You've gotta hold up your end of the place. Gotta come up with the rent every month. And to do that, you gotta go out and make something of yourself. You've gotta be aggressive. Can't be slacking off or looking for the easy way out of situations. No siree, no more freeloading. Now get out there and make your subspecies proud. You got it, mister. I'm gonna make that change. I'm off like 30 pounds at a grapefruit diet. Look out, world. This is one upwardly mobile cockroach coming at ya. <sighs> Just thinking about all the work he's gonna do is wearing me out. <sighs> Did it! Chester the Cockroach has got a job! I'm climbing that ladder of success. You got a job? You bet I did. And I made 50 bucks. Ah, oh, well, uh, good work, Chester. Now you can pay me your part of the rent. But that only leaves me with two dollars. I must have added wrong. Why, you're right, Chester. Hey, now I only have one dollar. Well then, it looks like you need to go get a better job, Chester. Go out there and work, 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 little buddy. Hello, Woody. I got a huge promotion. Everything you taught me is paying off. Good work, Chester. But, uh-oh, inflation, devaluation, taxation. Looks like your rent just went up a hundred bucks. Then there's your water and electric bill, TV privileges. Wait a minute! TV priv? Frequent user fee, occupancy payroll, and the unavoidable what's yours is mine pay now and then pay again later assessment commission. Thank you. Next! Well, how am I supposed to get ahead in life without money? Chester, have I taught you nothing? It's about appearances, networking, and communication. So get out there and make my subspecies proud. <laughs> Check it out, Woody. I got a new car with brakes that could stop a bad day. Ah, time to pay your rent, Chester. <sighs> You know, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of moving up in the world only to have to hand everything over to you. I've changed jobs more often than you've changed socks. You're a disgrace, and it's time to put the teacher to the test. You get a job, Woody. So get out there and work, work, work! Say, what are you up to now, Woodpecker? I'm gonna get a job. A job? Hm. What's this world coming to? What am I doing? If you can't beat them, move them. You know, little fella, you were right. I was? I got a job in real estate. And you watch me. Soon I'll be more upwardly mobile than the space program. You bet. But a bug with your success shouldn't have to live like this while I'm still pulling myself up by the tail feathers. No, sir. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you. So, my first real estate deal is to get you set up in a house that's a home in the style to which your money is accustomed. Behold, elegance. And it comes furnished, too. But can I afford... It's not about affording. It's about investing. It's about planning for your future. It's about making things happen. It's about... Well, how much do you have? I've saved ten grand. Say, what are these walrus pictures? You know what? I'm gonna sell this place to you at cost. Sold! Gentlemen, the pride of his subspecies. You know, that little guy was right. I could be a dynamite salesperson. Work my way to the top. Nah. Cardboard is 
is our friend. I get you now by Yiggity, you little cockroach. I get you out of my house. This is my place. What are you doing? Help! 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 Crazy walrus! Help! <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> What do you know? It's finally Father's Day! Mwah! The day of our annual father-son tea-off, Pops! No matter how crazy Dad makes me, this year, I'll be the one taking home the trophy. Boyo! Are you ready for our annual father-son golf tournament? <laughs> <laughs> You betcha, Pop. Rest assured, laddie. The trophy is going home with me. Just like it does every year. We'll see about that, Pop. And none of your shenanigans, boy of mine. I'm going to beat you fair and square by the 18th hole. You're on, Pops. Anybody thinking of golfing should think again. There will be a major thunderstorm this afternoon. I have a feeling I'm going to get what I'm really after by the 18th hole. Now, watch how a master tees off. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all, Pops. Now watch this. Whoa! For the love of Mike, laddie, are you planning to whack the ball or kiss it? You're aiming to knock its lights out, laddie. Get mad! <laughs> Let me help you. Now! No! Oh, yeah. That trophy's all but mine. Sure. If it was a trophy for best divot digger. As quick as messy on dry land. Are you that out of shape, would you? Get out and about and feel the wind beneath your kilt, like a real woodpecker would. Dolphins. Yeah. Oh no, you don't. That's my ball, there, boy. -o. Better stop laying about. I'm beating you, laddie. <laughs> I'll bet it's a hole in one. I'm guessing the trophy's mine. A record storm is heading our way. Golfers, be advised. Rain's coming. I'd better speed this along so we can get to the 18th hole in time. Merciful divots, that was a beauty of a hit, son. can say is you'll have to play the ball where it lies, Boyle. You're really in it now, son. You'll never clear these bushes. With that shot, I'm one stroke closer to the trophy. Excuse me, does this ball belong to either of you?
That is not my ball. Tis an English ball. And I only use Scottish. Rude uses English balls. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't go out in a storm dress like that. Well, what do you know about that? This is no rain. It's just a mist. Play on, lad. But, Pop, the neck pickers are golfers, not swimmers. Ah, there's a wee bit of water that scares you, then. <laughs> Come on, swing already! Come on, come on! Moody boy, speak to me! Speak to your old dad! <laughs> I did this to him! I pushed him too hard! I don't deserve to wear this kelp! I don't deserve this bonus as well, Cappy! Son! I only want you to know. Uh, oh, thank the great kilt giver, you're all right. Is there anything I can do for you, Sonny? Well, <coughs> I might be back to my old self if I had that trophy, Pop. Sure, sure, my sonny boy. Anything. It's yours for the year. Keep it. Really? Thanks, Pop. I got the trophy. I got the trophy. What? You weren't even struck then, eh? You were just fooling your old puppy the whole time. No! My trophy! <laughs> sure thing, boy -o. That'll look great on your mantle for the rest of the year. <laughs> Cadet not yet the Space Cadet Splinter. Come in, Splinter. I have the killer asteroid in sight. Roger that, Cadet Nodhead. We have to do something before it destroys the Earth. My Zack Zobar East Alien Hunter Fomerang should do the job. Yay! We saved the Earth! Uh-oh! Ah! There's only so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not gonna go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please? Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. 45 bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding Buzzard Scouts. Uh, space Cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the end. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko-Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zack Zobar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? I went to, uh, Camp Folsom. I mean, Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean, Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <laughs> 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 
Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bored! We came here to be space cadets! Uh-oh, uh sure! In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti-gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, gravity. Wait, what about seat belts? What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? That's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good buzzard scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh, boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good buzzard scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spent hours making a trap merit badge. We can cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a 10-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. I think they have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> Oh, drop a boulder, yeah! Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> what are you little... Buzzard Scouts doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides! Like canoeing or horseback riding. Or how about a rocket to the moon? Yay! Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need. Here on Earth. Take off in T minus 10. Zero! That's one small step for woodpeckers and one giant leap towards my vacation! <laughs> Take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. 45 bucks and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back. Please. <laughs> Goodbye, Counselor Buzz. Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar summer space camp? Yeah, yeah, go on, Scouts, that ends our tour of the petrified forest with trees that are 10 million years old and as hard as rocks. <laughs> now, let's go see some amazing redwoods. Petrified forest that way. Hmm, I'd better go the other way. Unpack trees, and they're all for me. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Why, I feel rather strange. What am I doing in this wretched place? I'd better head back to civilization. <laughs> oh my, it's so lovely. I can't wait for all the little birdies to... <gasps> Hold it right there, woodpecker. This bird bath is not for you, so forget it. Why, I wouldn't dream of being so bold. I was merely admiring the craftsmanship. Flattery will get you nowhere. I am not cleaning up that mess of yours. I'm so sorry, dear neighbor. I had no idea I was so inconsiderate. I'll take care of that mess. I... I can't believe it. You've seen the error of your ways. Maybe now we can live in harmony. Of course we can. Woody and Wally, friends, neighbors, and brothers. <sighs> I can't believe it took us so long to see how alike we really are. Astonishing, isn't it? That's game. What? But I have never lost a game of Swedish checkers. I am the reigning champion. It was just luck, old chum. I'm sure you'll win the next game. Well, how about a more challenging game? Raised pole climbing is my favorite game. Last one to the top is a third. <laughs> almost had me. I don't get it. I always win at Swedish games. Tut tut, old boy. You're always a winner in my eyes. Oh, by the way, Wallace, you must clean and prepare for the festivities this evening. <laughs> Are you almost ready, old chum of mine? I'm so thankful for your kind invitation to the Swedish smorgasbord. I stand a good chance of winning Speed of the Year Award. I've dreamt of this moment my whole life. And now for the moment we have all waited for. The Speed of the Year Award. We have chosen a man of class, distinction, and character. Yeah, and the winner is Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> no, this is mistake. He is not even Swedish. It is mine. This award goes to Woody Woodpecker. He is an imposter! I am the Woody Woodpecker! No! No! I am Speed of the Year! I am Speed of the Year! Hello? Doctor? Yeah, please help me. I can't stand him anymore. Yeah, well, what seems to be the problem? It's that woodpecker. He's all nice and civilized. He is ruining my life. What are the symptoms? Well, well, he, he's courteous. He cleans up after himself, and he wins at everything I do. Sounds to me like his head's all jumbled up. What you need to do is rejumble his head. Oh, yeah. Thank you, doctor. I think I have a plan. <laughs> Oh, Woody, they 
Wake up! I have a treat for you! My dear Wally, you shouldn't have. Well, civilized or not, I'm still a woodpecker. Hey, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Say, Woody, would you mind raking my yard? It seems your tree has dropped leaves all over it. What? Forget it, bub. Ah, something should never change. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> What's your name again? I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see. Common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker. Common woodpecker. Common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. <laughs> Imagine that. A common woodpecker trying to eat a shave only. Hmm. Enough, huh? Wow! Did you see that? I say, is that who I think it is? Oh, yes! It's Lord Crinkle! You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player! The famous rich polo player! Rich! Get it? Yomping Yiminy! It's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player! <laughs> Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a maitre d'. Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Over here, Lord Crinkle. Uh, where? Where? Who is this? Now, now stay still, whoever you are. <laughs> Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? <laughs> Look at this filth. Now clean that fork. I think it's clean now, Duke. <laughs> Still dirty. I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen. The Queen. The Queen.
who's the queen? Oh, royalty. Big money. Ooh, the queen! <laughs> Welcome to Shave Oli, your majesty. You may kiss my hand. Now you may kiss the royal foot. that you are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... <clears throat> knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. <coughs> Why, <Whoa, whoa, whoa. laughs> <Are> you woodpecker? <laughs> <laughs> I dub you the freeloader. <laughs> I dub you Sir Moot. <laughs> I dub you Sir Loop. I dub you Sir Slacker! <laughs> and now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on Channel 1 and ends on Channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle-eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious-like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. 
don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> You know, some itches they just don't have a cream for. Demoted to deckhand? But, Captain, sir! Mm. Now, listen here. You may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and. <laughs> ah! And that critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Demoted to pool boy? But Captain, sir! Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? Oh, no, you don't, you freeloading feed bag. Be motion. The waiter? Now hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy? I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a firework spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I'm being demoted to anchor.
Out you go, silly little woodpecker. Enough with the funny. I need to have my sleep. Poor little woodpecker. He has fallen from his nest. Nighty night, woodpecker. <laughs> Looks like we're both up, huh? Oh well, I might as well have a late night snack. Oh, let's see. There's cheese, and ham, and pickles, and tomatoes, and a little bit of onion. Oh, joy. I just can't wait to sink my tusks into this sandwich. <gasps> Who? What? Where's the... But... Hmm. I don't even remember eating all that stuff. Ooh. I better get some sleep. My mind is going all kerplunky. <laughs> Atta boy, come and get it. Who is yangling my bell? Night mailman. I don't know of any night mail. Special delivery. Jumping Jupiter, just what I need. Like a boat more than a fjord. <laughs> no more sleepless nights for me, Woodpecker. <sighs> I don't like any of this high wood web. <laughs> Hello, police. There's some weirdo digging up my lawn. No, I don't know who it is. Just come and get them out of here. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? Aha. Woodpecker. <laughs> so you're 
You're the weirdo trench digger. All right, buddy, let's go downtown. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Uh, at least it's nice and quiet here. I can be getting the rest I need. <laughs> By me? <laughs> <laughs>